Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to Jax Technologies. Guys, if you are someone working in the automotive embedded domain or if you are interested in CAN communication, this video is just for you. Okay, guys, today I am going to show you how to use Python to send messages on PCAN device. Whether you are debugging, testing or developing automotive applications, this step-by-step -step guide will make you to understand and it is super easy for you to get started. Okay. Also, if you are new to PCAN view tool, don't forget to check out my previous video on how to install the PCAN view tool and the link is provided in the description below. Let's dive right in. Okay. Guys, first what you have to do, first you have to import CAN library. Okay. So, to import CAN library, first you have to install this package Python CAN. If you install this package Python can, then you can import the can library. So this can library uh, provides tools to interact with can buses using various hardware. Example, peak can devices, virtual can and everything. Okay. Once you import this, what you have to do? First, you have to establish a connection between your Python script and your peak can hardware. To do that, what you have to do? First, I am creating a variable called bus. Bus equals this is the can library which i have imported can dot interface dot bus so this establish the connection between pcan hardware and your python script okay now so here now i need to define channel okay so to define channel how i have to give the channel name see guys here you have your pcan tool right so, if you click on connect, so this is the name of your PCAN hardware, PCAN PCI, okay. So, you have to give this PCAN PCI. In a string, you have to give PCAN PCI, okay. Now, here you have PCAN PCI. So, here you have four different channels. So, if you want to connect to channel 1, you just have to give bus 1. If you want to connect to channel 1, you have to give bus 1. This is how you need to define your channel. So, you are using PCAN PCI hardware and you are connecting it to channel 1. If you are connecting it to channel 2, the hardware name is same just to have to give 2. If you are connecting it to channel 4, you just have to give channel 4 here like this. Okay. Now, so now you need to define the bus type. We can call it as an interface here. Okay. So, what is the bus type? So, are you using virtual CAN or PCAN? What you are using? That you need to define. We are using the PCAN here. Okay. Now, guys, as you know, we need to define the bitrate. So, to our CAN, we are using the bitrate of 500 kbps. So, the bitrate equals 500 kbps, right? Okay. So, I have given 500 kbps here. Okay. So, now this bus, whenever you are using bus, which means it is a connection to the PCAN hardware. Got it? Now, now what you have to do, just I am printing guys. If my connection is successful, I am just printing the, I am just printing in our terminal. Okay. Connected to PCAN device successfully okay so just i am printing this once the connection is established successfully then just it will print the it, this it will print this line in the terminal right now now guys i need to create the can message how to create the can message i am creating a variable called can id you can give any can id okay so i am i wanted to take the can id as 0 cross 100 got it no. i need to provide the data so, data I need to give. So, how many bytes of data I need to send? That is my wish. From 0 bytes to 7 bytes, I can send anything. So, that what I am taking, I am taking a list. I am sending the data. 0 cross 0 1, 0 cross 0 A, 0 cross 0 D. Okay. I am just sending 3 bytes of data. Right. Now, now I need to establish a message. Message is the variable again I am taking. So, can dot message so you need to map this can id with arbitration id and data with the data field you know the can frame right so here what i am doing arbitration id equals 
can id so i have just assigned can id to my arbitration id now in this data field i need to assign the data whatever i am transmitting right data equals data okay now now you are using standard can or extended can if you are using standard can you just need to give is extended id false if you give false which means you are using the standard can id which is 11 bit id if you give true here which means you are using the extended can based on that you have to modify your can id also okay you have to give the 29 bit identifier here got it now i have established the connection and i have created the can id and i have given the data and i have established the message frame also okay now what i have to do i need to send this message over the can so how to send bus dot send message okay uh, now this will send the message over the can got it after sending the message over the pick can device i just wanted to print which message i have sent and what data i have sent okay so i am just printing i use formatted string here that would be better message sent on can id so what i am doing here i will convert this can id to the hex format and i'll just give the data also whatever i have sent okay perfect already i have established the connection here once after sending the message over can successfully if i am done with the thing okay then i have to close the connection how to close the connection burst dot shutdown okay so this properly closes the connection to the can interface okay it frees the resources like it's important to do this to avoid uh, leaving the device in an unstable state that's why i am doing this now guys just run this one okay before running it i just need to connect it to the channel one okay let's go here and just try to run this okay so i got this error no pcan pci bus okay see just i have given the bus here but i did not provide which channel to connect so i am just giving the one here now see i am running this now connected to peak and device successfully message sent on the can id is 0 cross 100 1 10 30. so let's open peak and go to the trace and check okay guys look at here 0 cross 100 the data which i have sent on the uh, peak and device is 0 1 0 a 0 d got it understood how to send the message over the uh, peak and device okay okay so now guys you have successfully sent the can message over the peak can device right now when you run this particular script you are sending the message over the peak can device only once what if it is a periodic message how to send how to send this message periodically very simple guys nothing to worry just here you come just add the infinite loop while true okay now so if your message periodicity is 500 milliseconds then what you have to do just you need to import time here import time time dot sleep of 500 milliseconds right 0 0.5 right now that's it now run this see the message is periodically going over the peak can for every 500 milliseconds you can check the same in your trace also see the message is period periodically sending over the can for every 500 milliseconds got it okay all right so guys that's it for today's video i hope this guide helps you set up your peak can device and send messages using python okay if you haven't already check out my previous video on installing the peak can view tool which is linked in the description below right now guys if you found this video helpful make sure to like comment and subscribe to my channel uh, for more tutorials on automotive tools python programming and embedded systems okay for those who want to dive deeper into topics like python for automotive or automotive testing feel free to connect with us through the contact details in the description below right 
guys thanks for watching and as always keep exploring and happy testing right see you in the next video guys